the sustainable development goals. This is the last portion of your notes here. And uh, you can see there's an image that looks like this in your notes. We're going to learn about that. All right, so the sustainable development goals, they were developed by the United Nations. All right, so in 2015, that's what, a few years ago, uh, the United Nations General Assembly, seen in this picture here in New York City, uh, put together a list of 17 goals. Uh, these are goals that they want to accomplish to make the world a better place, right? To make the world a better place for humans, but also to uh, protect our planet from being destroyed. Okay, so uh, each of the 17 goals has a specific target that must be accomplished, and they are hoping to achieve each of these targets uh, by the year 2030. Okay, so the clock is ticking and we're gonna see what those goals were. So goal number one, no poverty. The goal is to have not a single person on our planet living in poverty. Number two, zero hunger. No one's going hungry. Number three, good health, good well-being to improve people's health around the world. Four, quality education. Five, gender equality, making sure there's equal treatment between genders. Uh, number six, clean water and sanitation, making sure everybody has access to clean water for both drinking, but also for cleaning themselves. Number seven, affordable and clean energy, making sure everybody has access to uh, energy, including electricity, and that that energy is coming from a clean source that does not harm our planet and harm ourselves. Number eight, decent work and economic growth, right? That uh, people have good work and that they don't have work that is harmful to them. Number nine, industry innovation and infrastructure. Uh, those are important things for developing economies around the world. Number 10, reduced inequalities. Uh, the gap between the rich and the poor in our world right now is so big. Uh, so, so the goal is to reduce that inequality. Number 11, sustainable cities and communities. Uh, redesigning cities, changing them so that they are more sustainable. 12, responsible consumption and production. So changing the way our economy works so that we are not just creating products that end up in the dump, but uh, making it so that we have more of a circular economy. 13, climate action, right? So climate change is already beginning and affecting millions of people around the world, uh, taking specific action on those. Number 14, life below water looks at uh, making sure that the oceans are well protected, the lakes are well protected, and rivers. Uh, number 15, life on land. Right, protecting the environment uh, on land. Number 16, peace, justice, and strong institutions. Right, That's more um, making sure that people are able to live in good you know, countries that are you know, taking care of the, the rights of citizens. And 17, partnerships for the goals, getting countries to work together. Uh, and to achieve these goals, it takes cooperation. And the United Nations is big on cooperation. All right, so you guys are going to pick a few of those goals and learn a little bit more about them. Uh, so in your charts, you got one, two, three, four, five, you got room to learn about five of these goals. Uh, and so there's a website where you can go and you can click on the website. The link is in D2L. It says SDGs explain, right? SDG is sustainable development goals explained. Uh, you can click on this link in D2L. It takes you to a website. And here, what you need to do is you need to describe the problem and then describe the solution. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. Um, okay, what do I do? I click on the link. Okay. Will it open up the website? Yes, it will. Okay, so you can go to the website, which looks like this, and it takes you to this sort of like digital pamphlet thing, the sustainable development goals. It just looks like a happy thing, right? And then you click forward and forward, what are the sustainable development goals? You can read about them, keep reading about them and be like this guy, right? Reading. And then goal number one, no poverty. Uh, so if you choose this one, well, then in the left column of your chart in the first section, you're going to write one period, no poverty, right? Because that's the goal that you chose. And then you read the text over here and you find out what the problem of poverty is. So using the information in here, describe this problem describe the problem of poverty on our planet and then what is the solution okay describe what uh the brochure tells you is a possible solution to this problem okay and then 
keep flipping through. Oh, zero hunger, right? If you want to learn about this one, well, then the next row, you write number two, zero hunger, right? And then you read about hunger and some of the solutions that uh, they're coming up with to try to end hunger, right? And so you don't have to do one and two. If you want, you can, you know, kind of flip through here and choose the ones that you find interesting, right? And, uh, and just read only about the ones that you are interested in. Uh, but you have to be interested in at least five, <laughs> okay? Um, so go ahead and do that, right? You use that website, right? You write down the number and the title of each of the goals that you chose, right? And then you describe the problem that the goal is addressing and then describe the solution to that goal, right? What, is, what are they gonna try to do? All right, sorry, the, the solution to the problem, okay? So if you do those things, then you'll be good. All right, good stuff.